welcome back to another program at Cambridge Educational TV Channel. And our program is with Nima. Um, our topic is about children's emotions. Why are children's emotions important? Sometimes when, when children are hurt, they cry, sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're sad. Emotions are a person's inner feelings. Some examples of emotions are anger, fear, joy and guilt. Children who understand and can deal with emotions have emotional competence. This means they can express their feelings appropriately. For example, smile if happy. They can identify what they are feeling and what other people are feeling. They can also modify or change the emotions to better deal with certain situations. For example, calm themselves down when angry. What are feelings for kids? Understanding and managing emotions is important for development and well-being during childhood and adolescence. Children and teenagers who can understand and manage their emotions are more likely to express emotions by speaking calmly or in appropriate ways. Bounce back after feeling strong emotions like disappointment, frustrations or excitement. Control impulses, behave appropriately, that is, in ways that don't hurt other people, things or themselves. Dealing with emotions help children learn, make friends, become independent and more. What is the importance of feelings? The emotions that children express depend on their age and their culture. Some of the first emotions that babies express are fear, anger and joy. Around the age of 30 months, children start to express emotions that, are relate, that relate to the way they see themselves. They may feel embarrassed, guilty or proud. Children's emotional behavior can depend on their temperament, cognitive development and the way they react to new situations and objects. Children who have had negative experience early in their life, for example trauma or maltreatment, may have trouble dealing with emotions. What should children know about emotions? I think children really should know about emotions because one day if they see somebody crying, they could help them. Children who have trouble dealing with emotions may become depressed, aggressive or anxious. It's important paying attention to your children's non-verbal message about how they are feeling. For example, hugging, sulking or crying. Your children can't talk, so use these nonverbal clues to find out what they are feeling. Be supportive, caring and nurturing to your children. This will help to build a strong bond between you and them. For example, when your child gives you a hug, take the time to hug him back. Some parents always ask, how can I help my child always identify emotions? Show your child how you're feeling about different situations. This will help him to make the link between a specific situation and positive negative emotions. Help your child understand feelings by naming them. For example, I'm very happy when you smile at me. What is the difference between feelings and emotions? People generally use the words feeling and emotion interchangeably, but there are distinct differences between them. It's important to know the differences as it can make a huge change to your behavior and your child's behavior. The reptilian part of our brain holds the fight, flight, freeze mechanism that helps cavemen to survive to produce quick reactions to threat or reward. Emotions are the reactions produced to these threats or rewards. They are physical bodily sensations. For example, facial and body gestures which are external, but also you may have an internal bodily reaction in your heart or gut. These are encoded in your genes and vary in each individual but are generally similar across our species. For example, a smile is a physical response across cultures when we are pleased with something. Feelings are the mental portrayal of what is going on in our body, what is going on in your body physically when you experience an emotion. Feelings are reactions to emotions. They are subjective and will be different for everyone based on the individual's past experiences, beliefs and memories. Feelings involve the brain and are often subconscious. They are difficult to measure. Each person will experience feelings in a different way and at different intensities, depending on the situations and is based on the belief system. How do children express their feelings through play? 
Children can express their feelings through role play using a school setting, painting a picture of themselves in the new school uniform, inviting a friend over to play, or taking part in activities similar to those that they will be undertaking in school. How does emotional development affect learning? Emotion has a substantial influence on the cognitive process in humans, including perception, attention, learning, memory, reasoning and problem solving. Emotion has a particularly strong influence on attention, especially modulating the selectivity of attention as well as motivating action and behavior. This attentional and executive control is intimately linked to learning process as intrinsically limited attentional capacities are better focused on relevant information. Emotion also facilitates encoding and helps retrieval of information efficiently. What are examples of emotional activities? Social and emotional skills include the following. Displays self-control, expresses feelings with words, listens and pays attention, pride in accomplishment, has a positive self-image, asks for help when needed, shows affection to familiar people, aware of other people's feelings. How do emotions affect child development? Kids with healthy social-emotional skills are more likely to succeed in school, work and life. Social-emotional skills help kids make friends and keep friendships, gain confidence, resolve conflict, manage stress and anxiety, learn social norms, make appropriate decisions, resist negative social pressure, learn strengths and weaknesses, gain awareness of what others are feeling. Why is learning emotional? So when sometimes you're like, your parents teach you something, when you do something wrong and your parents get kind of mad but not mad, they like explain to you something, your heart, it just feels like that you're being, you know, screamed at and hurt or something. Parents help to nurture social-emotional skills so kids develop healthy relationships with friends and family members. Even as a baby, your little one is picking up on how you respond to their social and emotional needs. They feel safe at home and in your presence. They learn how to empathize, respond to the emotions of others and say I am sorry by following your lead. We've came to the end of this program. I hope you all enjoyed it and of course learned something from it. I hope parents like these questions answered your like curiosity and I'll see you next week. Bye!